Hello and welcome to a brief tutorial on LinguaFolio from the student's perspective. Uh, today we'll be going over things like uploading evidence and first time logging in and maybe a few other things along the way. So we're going to log in. We created uh, the Drew student account in the teacher's per perspective tutorial um, and for the most part students will have their accounts created by the teacher. So we're just going to go ahead and log in right away. Uh, the first time anyone logs in as a student, you'll be prompted with this information. Feel free to read it when you would like. But for now, I'm just going to select I agree and save. And here we can see I don't have a whole lot going on. Like select the three bars in the top right. I can go to my profile, see my information check out which sections I'm in. So right now I'm in Spanish too. Now that we're back on the main page, we're able to upload evidence. So for this scenario, we're gonna upload video evidence. We'll call this making tutorials. And of course, it's better to be a bit more uh, practical with your uploads for evidence, but right now we're going to be uploading this piece of evidence you're able to change the language if it doesn't match what you want it to but for now we're just doing Spanish let me click submit and then you want to give it a moment to upload the evidence and then from here we're able to choose where the assignment or where the evidence is uploaded to we can either upload it to the assignment, or if we click go back, we can do it to the specific CanDo cluster. So for now, we'll upload it to the CanDo cluster. Uh, you get to choose which type of evidence is shown. Uh, this is based on what the teacher selects as far as what um, CanDo types are available. We only selected the interpersonal communication spe uh, about speaking and listening. However, you can also have writing, you could have cultural interaction, and a bunch of other potential options. But that is all based on what the teacher assigns in the can-do statement. Uh, it's not so much based on what the student generally wants. And then, much like what we were talking about before, we select novice. Our only option is low. And then you can discuss, you can see the description of what novice low actually means. And then from here we can check off what our evidence is applicable to. So in this scenario we're going to say we can use that to say hello online. And you can check as many or as little as you want as long as you check at least one. So we're going to check that one off, go to the next tab. And then this is where the student gets to self-evaluate. So you can say, I haven't really started evaluating. This is the goal, or the start of the goal of what I want to do. I can do this confidently, or I can do this very well and frequently. And then I can do this with help. So from there, we'll click Next. This will give you a preview of whatever video, or uh, audio, or other kind of evidence that you're uploading if you'd like to play it. Hello and welcome to a brief tutorial. But you already heard me say that, so we'll just go ahead and save and submit. And once again, it's uploading the evidence. The first time it was just to that scenario. The last time it was actually to save it. And now, if we click on the three bars once again, we have a My Evidence tab. Once that loads up, we're able to see our evidence in the history. As a student, we're even able to add a reflection. So, say a couple weeks go by and you look at your older evidence, you can say, uh, I've improved a lot since this. Click the review button, and then we can say we improved. And you, your teacher is actually able to uh, 
look at your evidence and respond to it in kind, say, um, I agree this is like a great stepping stone for your language learning, or they could say this might not be a can do well, maybe it's more of a I can do this with help sort of grading. And that's how the teacher can help guide the students. And as we can see, uh, we have two kinds of evidence. The um, document text evidence, which we can see if we click Oh, I excluded that one. And now we can only see our document uploads, because, ah, that was a PDF upload. Same thing here, we're looking for only the videos. And then we had both of them checked off, so that's why only one of them was showing up. Click all. Everything shows up as intended. And we can look at specifically the interpersonal communication stuff, which is only the one we've most recently uploaded. And then even then, you can sort it even further. We don't have any novice mid evidence, but we do have novice low. So we can include that in the filter, and our evidence comes up once again. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of flexibility with student upload and personal review. There's also this My Proficiency Overview, which we have further tutorials about on the LFO Network page under Technology Tutorials. Um, but this is a very great visual representation of how students are able to interact and understand their growth over time. But there is much more to learn about Linguafolio as you go on, and we have plenty of tutorials that hopefully will help you along your way. So keep growing with Linguafolio and take care.